Pum Pum, Vagina, Twat, Pussy, Juice Box. These are all the names associated with a woman's private parts. I feel as though vagina is the most dangerous thing in this world. I'm not blaming women when I say that. Really, you know, men should really look at themselves. If you put the value of yourself, how much vagina you get, if you change up when vagina is around, you should really take an internal look at yourself. You have a community of men, right? Buddy, buddy. Yo, that's my homie, that's my... Again. You wanna test that dynamic? Throw a pussy grenade in the room. The competition that comes around with that will create some beef. It will create some static. You wanna filter out the bitch ass in your circle. Throw some pussy in the room. Bitch ass always change up over vagina. I don't care how old you are, whether you 13, 14, 70, 80, just remember, vagina is the easiest way to filter out a snake. One of my biggest regrets is not chasing my dreams harder when I was in like my 20s. Like when I was 21, 22, my wife now, and we broke up, and I used that time instead of chasing my dreams and you know, really keeping my head down and having tunnel vision, I was chasing pussy. I was out here trying to get my meat wet. I was revenge and I was still trying to get her back. I was still giving 20% effort towards my goals and 80% effort towards getting my dick wet. Weak-minded individual. 35 now, I have a son, wife, nice house, and still I have yet to really settle down on a career. Why are you not a millionaire right now? Why are you not a billionaire right now? When I ask myself that question, if I had to look back, I think the answer is because I was trying to get my dick with. And I know I'm not the only person like that. I know I'm not the only one like that. A lot of us men put too much value on getting our dick wet. We put too much value on pussy. We put too much value on the company of women. Now, I'm not blaming women. As much as we have the red pill movement going, we still need women. But I feel as though we put too much effort. We put too much effort. I'm going to leave it there. We put too much effort. And most of the time, a lot of us don't even really want relationships with these girls. Or these women. We don't want relationships. We just want to. Oh, I had this analogy, right? Where I was comparing, like, taking down multiple women to being a drug dealer. Fast money. If you look at Vlad TV and you look at all these, like, dudes from the 80s that used to be getting it, you know what I'm saying? They used to be out here just making hundreds of thousands of dollars a week from illegal activities. All they have now is stories. And every once in a while, they get called up to Vlad to do an interview to tell their stories. It's the same situation with me and my friends when we get on the phone and like we talk about the shit we used to f up. All we have are stories. All we have are stories. Out of the two friends that I'm the closest to, I'm the only one that's married. Between us, us three, we have bodies. I can honestly say that. We have bodies. Like, bodies. But all those bodies was a waste of time, son. All those bodies was a waste of time, son. Like, we would get on the phone and we would talk about, yo, you seen such and such, man? She she looking trash now. That's crazy. Gossiping and shit. But nigga, I remember when she came to the crib, you know what I'm saying? I was, I was tagging that down. Boy, I, her head game was crazy. Stories. That's all we have is stories, bro. I feel as though, man, we just put too much value on pussy. We put too much value on women. Crazy part is, a lot of times, some of us, the weaker you are, the easier it is for a woman to manipulate you. And a lot of us men run around here so prideful and we do <laughs> we do dumb shit thinking like, yeah, nigga, I'm the man. You know, but you out here getting manipulated. You out here getting manipulated. I'm going I'm to end this video with, with some, some real shit. Like, usually I be trying to be funny, but I ain't, I ain't trying to be funny today, man. I'm trying to be real with y'all, okay? I have my basketball friends. I have my thug friends, all right? Growing up. I have these two particular friends who are a part of separate neighborhoods. And the neighborhoods don't like each other. Now I want you to just listen to this. The neighborhoods don't like each other. I'm talking about they meet at an intersection and there's gunfire. Over the years, multiple people have lost their lives because these two neighborhoods do not like each other. My two friends, I have to hang out with them separately. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't know what will happen. Well, now I, I feel as though niggas is grown now, so shit is different. But back then, I couldn't hang out with them because you don't know what will happen. One, I met from playing basketball. The other one, I went to private school with him. So anyway... <clears throat> Separate neighborhoods, separate gangs or whatever, right? 
I remember finding out the reason why the two particular neighborhoods do not like each other. Now, based on this video, can you guess what it is? Yes. Over pussy. Over some vagina. Two niggas started beefing over some vagina. One ended up hurting the other one. Things escalated. People started dying. And now it's a full-fledged war over some vagina. Y'all want to hear some funny shit? Because the chick is, like, older than, than me or whatever. You feel me? But guess what? She's married. She has kids. And her husband is not of hood essence. Okay? Her husband is not of hood essence. The two particular individuals that started beefing over her when we was teenagers... are no longer here. They are no longer here because of a beef that stemmed from some pussy, from some vagina. It's two neighborhoods. I ain't, I ain't even gonna say it's two neighborhoods. Matter of fact, it's two neighborhoods. Fuck it, it's two neighborhoods. Two different gangs. Of individuals that currently do not like each other and can't wait to kill each other over some vagina that no longer lives in that neighborhood. That belongs to somebody else, matter of fact. Let's say that. Two neighborhoods killing each other over some beef that stemmed from some vagina from a few years back that currently belongs to somebody else. I want y'all to think about that. Vagina starts wars. <laughs> Vagina start wars. Because of weak-minded men. Vagina start wars because of weak-minded men. I don't care what you do to me, nigga. You can't make me beef with you over no pussy. Now, you can make me beef with you over my family. You feel me? You disrespect my family, that's something else. But you can't make me beef with you over no pussy. You shouldn't beef with no nigga over no pussy. You shouldn't hate on no nigga because of no pussy. You shouldn't change who you are because of no pussy. You shouldn't lie on your dick. You should do none of such things. Because that's not what men do. Men don't do shit like that. A lot of you niggas are weak, man. Weak. 